everybody. It's Reese, and we are back with my favorite political talkers, political talkers. We've given our channel a name. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm here with Kimmy and Jackie and Matt. First topic is Christian Walker. Now, this is a <laughs> problematic figure, has been a problematic figure in some lights, in many lights, on TikTok. Got his TikTok account suspended. He hasn't come back. It's still down. However, he's posting on Instagram yeah. and he's lot. airing his grievances on Twitter. Yes. Biden sucks was his last one. Well, no, that was a day ago. Excuse me. He definitely jumped <laughs> on that Mr. Potato Head thing. Oh, well, yeah, of course. And like every good conservative, I'm pretty sure he complained about Dr. Seuss. I'm sure. And I, you know, what's weird is like, I wouldn't have no. known about him because I never go onto that side of TikTok if it wasn't for you guys and other people that are like in our little group of political TikTokers mm -hmm. complaining or like making reaction videos to him. And I don't really generally don't respond to like younger younger people like really really young yeah i usually don't like respond yeah. or like stitch or like go at it with like a, a younger person because i feel like they're just going to turn around and be like old lady go away so I, I also give them a little bit of a pass i feel like when they're younger i feel like i have a little bit more leniency to their opinions because i realize maybe they're still evolving i don't know though i don't i don't know if you guys but feel that evolving? way but yeah i think a lot of people change after college or during college yeah and if they haven't yeah, recently where they've hit. gotten to live on their own or even go out at that bubble that they've been in with the same kids for like 12 years a lot of kids i feel like they are because this is kind of what i was they're very um narrow-minded they might have a different view of the world because they think the world is this and it's just uh -huh. this little bubble that they live in and when they get out of that bubble, they're all of a sudden enlightened and they become a little bit more conscious of other things. And no, mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. This is Christian Walker <laughs> in a contest after making a statement saying, bring back manly men. Okay, they're saying bad words. I better stop. <laughs> okay, I have to stop. I'll start with you, Jackie. You oh, said babe. you have opinions about this. Babe. Yeah, okay. So first, I want to say, um, I have absolutely no issues with like men dancing, living their best lives, dancing in heels, blending gender roles and norms and shit like that. Pop off, live your best life. You do what makes you happy. If you're feeling your fantasy, you're feeling your fantasy, and I'm happy for you. My issue with Christian is he's just so fucking hypocritical. And on top of him not being like the most appealing dancer for me to watch, which like I just love watching people dance. I think it's such an incredible art form to watch. Oh, people. I do too. I there's agree. so much expression through the movement, you know. I, I don't particularly like to watch him dance. It's just my own personal preference. People may feel completely different. He he's an enigma. I he is a a, a black gay conservative and just it's like he's constantly advocating against himself and i like i recognize yes. that everybody has their own opinions for what is good for them and what they want in the world and i get it it just actively blows my mind how he wants things that actively hurt multiple facets of who he is as a person and again I can't I'm not black I can't sit here and tell him how to be and how to feel about these types of issues you know it just like I don't know how he can sit here and be like bring back manly men and then post videos of him dancing in heels <laughs> it's just like there's a bit of cognitive dissonance that's missing for me and again I don't want to come across like I'm dissing on him for dancing in heels or having that opinion because they're two separate things, but the two of them together and being posted. They can't, they're, they're literally the opposite. You can't say I'm thirsty exactly. Exactly. and not drink or I'm really <laughs> tired and not sleep. I mean, it's like, literally... well, you can, but you're well, not I gonna... mean, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's you know why. Exactly. Maybe that's why. Like, 
we can dice into his political views when we when we get into it like that that particular aspect just fucking drives me wall i'm like don't sit here don't just uh don't sit here and preach about things and then not practice it i'm all about practicing what you preach <laughs> and he just like he preaches very aggressively and then actively chooses the exact opposite thing to do in his own personal life and i'm like Clearly what's good for the goose isn't good for the gander here. I, it's just ridiculous. I have a question before, um, real quick. Does he actually live a conservative life or is he, does he go out and drink and hook up and- I, Are you kidding me? Act like a college kid. I don't know he, what his personal life is beyond yeah, what I see on social media. Uh, I, that, his actions right there speak louder than his words. I mean, that's a perfect thing of actions speak louder than your words because right. I want manly men, but I want them. I don't want to be one. I want conservative men. And I don't want to act like one. I don't want right. to be one. You know, if that's your fantasy man, just say it. Say you want, okay, but don't sit there and preach it to everyone when you can't do that yourself or won't do it yourself the things that i've read about because i i don't go out to christian's page a lot but people that do i've read a few things where they say that his dad is super conservative republican yeah, yeah. and so there's a lot uh what they're the you know kind of the breakdown that these people that i've read have is that a lot of the things that he does and says is to try and make Please his daddy. dad kind of, you know, proud of him more, which if that's the case, then that's super sad, you know, that, sad. that, mm -hmm. that he would, you know, maybe not be like that if he had a, you know, strong support system around him or something, you know, right. but so, he seems but to again, be like I said, I, yeah, again, I, I don't know because I don't know anything about Christian other than the little bits and pieces that people have posted um, about him on, on social media because I don't ever go out to any of his pages or anything. So I have no idea. But that's something that I've read. So you know, I was like, well, that, that I, could be a facet of everything. That's well, uh, what I've seen is his dad supports him. But that is on social media we don't know what it is like in his home life no we're not gonna know and i don't oh. think we're ever gonna know but what but what we do see on social media is him and his dad him being so proud of his dad him being so mm -hmm. proud of his son that they're all conservative but right but what i'm saying is that does does his actions as a conservative Republican on social media directly influence the way that his dad feels about him? Oh, like probably. if he didn't hold those views, would it be a different relationship type thing? <laughs> yeah. You know, well, and like, yeah. so, and so does that weigh into the fact that maybe he's not being as true to himself because he doesn't want to lose his dad, which I totally get. Right. But, yeah. you know, but you know, that, for me, Christian is a is a tricky character because, like I was saying earlier, he's a walking contradiction, yeah, you know. Um, but you know, it there's something I don't know. Something in my gut tells me that there's way more behind why he's doing it than yes, just I agree. a full die hard red blooded conservative yeah. American. You know, like. There's ulterior motives there. I agree. I, I see something else going on. That's why I really don't generally clown on him or really yeah. bring him up yeah. in my videos. I like, and yeah. he is so young that I yeah. feel like he has a lot of room to grow and, and sure. things could change. What What do you think, Jason? Jason, welcome, by the way. <laughs> Just jumping in. My sister sent me the link, so I was like, oh, I thought it was a normal Friday one. <laughs> oh <laughs> no we're, we're definitely not normal but it is friday so we have yeah. <laughs> and wait wait and i'm drinking so it's okay it's and you're drinking normal yeah it's it's normal then I, yeah I think, like usual it's a griff uh just trying to get famous but he has no real skills to get famous so to speak out against his own people i guess you would say i don't know if that's right, right. Well, I think that's it's getting him. It's getting him pretty popular, you know. Well, He's getting I exposure. 
I think it's getting him yeah. infamy instead of fame, which can lead to but fame, as we've learned, said, doing uh, something <laughs> that upsets people. Is good exposure, though, right? It is. It is. That's and right. I mean, I guess it depends on who you're talking to, also. You know, right. I'm sure in exactly. conservative circles, you've got this black gay man that's pushing this Republican narrative that they're probably exactly. seeing him as this stand up hero. Oh, they do. The con, you know, yeah, and yeah. so oh, where, exactly. where, you know, the left side of the aisle is kind of looking at him like something's not right there. The right side of the yeah. aisle is propping him up on a pedestal as C. Okay. C? We're, yeah. This is our token? Exactly. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> he's the token black gay guy. <laughs> And well, it's like, so sad they use like, it. They use it as an excuse. Yeah. They're like, see, we can't be racist and homophobic if there's a black man who right. is, and yeah. is preaching what we want him to preach. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what exactly. were we saying, Jason? They're saying as long as he says what they like, they're fine with it. Yep. Yeah. So if, he says, if he says anything about black, uh, BLM being a positive thing, the Republicans will crucify him. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Conservatives will crucify him. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. we'll get into the next video. Hopefully, I'll I'll be able to record that without a problem. The only I've only ever done two videos on my page about Christian Walker, and they were when he used the R word when he was talking about the R word, uh, oh. and that was when I drew the line because otherwise I didn't want to give him any clout or any recognition. But when he was like, "Why are you so pressed about the R word?" I was like, "I will murder you." Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure. This. Yes, I'm so mad yes. about it. <laughs> I didn't realize he used that. That's anyway. Not that's, that's really well, mean. yes, he I mean, did. that's just and downright like, mean. That's mean. That's you don't mean, not, you, it's flat out mean. Oh, okay. yeah. He, he said, that, uh, if you were offended by the use of the word, you were mentally ill, and then he called them, and then he called people who were offended by the R word the R word. Um, I'm I'm muted the sound, but can you guys see it? Oh, yeah. All right, we have to pause it. I can't read it. That is a perfect pause. That's <laughs> Great perfect, pause. yeah. That. So Biden, when one Biden voter realizes how terrible a job he's doing and misses putting America first, two, a Biden voter complains about high gas prices, three, a Biden voter says they wish Trump was still in office. Have any of us said this? No. No. Nope. Nope. No, I've, and I can almost promise you there will be nobody who will. I've, <laughs> who voted for Biden not, and would be like... Yeah. I have not heard one person that voted for Joe Biden that was like, oh, man, wish I would have voted for Trump. No, that the was the whole Republican thing. Or, or actually, the job market surged in February and an unemployment started to go down. So I don't know what he's talking about. The um, you know, if you kind of delve into why the jobs are coming back, it's because you've got a bunch of red states that are impatiently just reopening their states wide open oh. and we're able to start going back to work in the middle of a uh, pandemic where a bunch of people are saying that they don't want to go and get a vaccine and none of them wear a mask so <laughs> in a yeah. way the the republican run states that are just like texas for example that just removed all of their mask mandates and Oof. reopened the state entirely um you're gonna have a bunch of people that'll start going back to work which yeah is going to look really good for Joe Biden for it, with jobs numbers. <laughs> and I don't think that they realize what they're doing. So, <laughs> Well, he's uh, now, if we're going to talk about that, then we're going to talk about him completely uh, making sure that nobody talks about what he did before and what he was talking about. Yeah. If we're talking about Abbott, then that's... Um, well, oh, Greg Abbott's just one? trying to kill as many people in Texas as he can. I I, I'm not against reopening. I just think you have to do it you, in a smart way. And safely. Yeah. And, and, and you can do it. it. The mask thing is a big thing. I, I think they yeah. could actually probably say. reopen everything and do the masks at this point. Well, if It'd everybody wore okay, them. But, yeah, I was about to say, I'm saying, if you make it a mandate. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah. But I you know, it know? was there was a mask mandate in Texas, and then you know, yeah. but no, still nobody would wear a mask. So like, yeah. you know, uh, there's not one in I Florida. There never has been. If carry a gun, they'd be all for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you could kill COVID with a gun, then Republicans <laughs> would be all about everything that <laughs> so you could true. do. So they'd think it was real at that point. Yeah, they'd be like, <laughs> oh, this is—is is this the caravan that he warned us about? Whatever happened to them, by the way? 
Exactly. Uh, they stopped off at a Denny's and they've just been there ever since. They turned around. <laughs> They oh, saw a Danny show people. that was happening here and said, we're going back. Yeah. We don't want anything to do with these people. Bye. Yeah. And I don't blame them. They got to the border and they were like, oh, that's 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 the beacon on the hill? No, I'm good. I'm nope. good. I'm out. So, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Thank you so yeah. much. No, I actually no, have I, to go home. Okay. Actually, I just checked the time and I'm late for dinner. <laughs> so I'm just going to go. The street well, lights are on. on. My mom is yelling for me. <laughs> gonna go home now this is a rant this is the one that i was yeah i'll just play as a black conservative liberal democrats are a bigger threat to my life than a white supremacist mainly because liberal democrats are the white supremacists if you're calling me a traitor to my race and trying to shut my speech down simply because i don't subscribe to being a victim who needs your help you are a white supremacist i don't think you have privilege over me simply because of your skin color i do think i can be successful regardless of any obstacles in my life stop thinking i need your help i don't think you're supreme to me get over yourself I, uh, so I love that he's uh, giving us a lecture about how we're not privileged over him from his bedroom with the raised <laughs> ceiling and the nice king size bed with yeah. the very expensive headboard there. Like, yeah, you probably don't experience a lot of the problems that most people do, but you're also coming from a very affluent family. So, yeah. Why, why are they? Why? <laughs> Why are we'll they go always trying to make them him, like him and his little gang of people? Like, I'm so pressed. I'm suppressed. And I'm my, I'm censored. censored. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Censored. I'm censored. I mean, it's like, are you, yeah. no, you're not. It's tough to pin down anything. And I never want to speak for a black man or tell him how to feel because um, I'll never know what it's like to be a black man in America. I just never will. You know, I may be able to slightly understand this what it's like yep. to be a member of the LGBTQ uh, community, but I'm, I'm never right. going to be able to understand that particular facet on top of the other facet. So it's wild that he's labeling leftists as the real white supremacists, because I think you can just look at the news. You can look at just who typically tends to side with what political ideology and you can kind of see what side of history you're on. As as a general rule in life, maybe don't vote for the person that the neo Nazis are voting for. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I, <laughs> maybe it just feel like I. Again, I don't want to tell him how to feel, but uh, but again, he's sitting here being like, I don't think that uh, you have privilege over me just because of your skin. And I'm like, but you're sitting here, like Matt said, in this rich house with the raised ceilings and the huge bed and the fancy headboard or whatever behind you. And I'm like, a, a lot of, I'm not saying you don't go through your own personal struggles. I'm not trying to minimize any experiences he may have in life, but to sit here and be like, I can make my own way in the world when you've been handed, when you, we were born Literally. with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's like, well, clearly you have a step up above other people. Well, I'll speak for him or I'll speak to him or Adam or whatever, <laughs> you know, being a black man in this country, I feel like I live, you know, his life, not his life. Don't get me wrong. I'm not rich. That'd be nice. But I grew up in a uh, predominantly white neighborhood, predominantly white school. My mom's white, you know, like, I don't see how he sees that way. Because if anything, I saw it. I noticed it when I was growing up. I was like, oh, shit. When I'm not around, they're a lot different. I've actually been called into my face, but I'm also 40 years old. So maybe that's something. He's, I think he's like, what, 22 or some shit like that? Something like that, yeah. He's young. So it's, it is a lot different. My nephew sees things a lot different than I do. I feel like he doesn't like his own skin and he wants to be white. I don't know if that's true, but I feel like that's the case. As far as him being angry, there's something there because it's almost like he's reading from a script or something. It, it doesn't, something doesn't translate. Well, no, it's it, like the child that gets in, in the high school show yeah. in the musical and has to play the, the 40 year old man. Right. And they start saying their lines like, but they're only 17. So they're not, they're just coming out. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you're like, you really want to root for them because they're trying real hard to nail that part, but it's not. Right. No one. Well, it is, it is a script. You watch yeah. anything that he says, it is the Republican talking points in an angry, you know, in his angry Christian Walker way. 
it's word for word, you know, it, you know, there's nothing original about what he says. The left is suppressing me because they deleted my account. Like, well, that wasn't the left. That was a private company that deleted your account. So really it sounds like you have a problem with capitalism and not the yeah. left. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, that's what it sounds like to me, but they also, you know, the same thing, they, they throw out these buzzwords, you know, oh, my freedom of speech is being suppressed. Mm. It's not Ooh, because yes. you're Canceled. making that video right now. You know what I mean? You're making that video and posting it to millions of people. Your freedom of speech is not being oppressed, you know? And plus that's, you know, if you're looking at the true definition of the freedom of speech, it's your ability to go and speak against the government without retribution for those words. Right. It has absolutely nothing to do with your ability to post an article online. But yeah, I think that's uh, all I have on him because I, I couldn't get too much farther into his video rants. <laughs> they just soak, soak the life out of me. It's like I watch it and I feel like mm -hmm. I'm losing brain cells oh, yeah. as um, I watch very <laughs> you know to be honest i'm good with not talking about him again tonight <laughs> i can't stand him and i just want him to not be on my screens anymore <laughs> super um, we, we can move on to either the to cult. Leave. oh you have to go oh, that's right it's oh, all right i do have to go but uh, okay i much love to y'all and obviously I'll yes, watch what you guys talk soon. about after this. But thank you for having me. We'll talk soon. I want to know what your guys' take is on that vegan teacher's new the word with the baby doll. Jason, did you see it? I have not seen it. Yeah, I didn't download that one because I don't want to put it up on the screen. I don't want it on my screen because it has that word and what you, what so, you, I don't know what you said. She yeah. All right, so I'll put you uh, on know we, everyone else who's watching. Uh, she has a baby doll. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to, since she's saying no word oh, should be yeah. that. I, no, I know what I you're talking it. about. Yep, yep, I know what I've you're talking about. It. And she made yep. an anagram. Yep. Yes. Yep. I, I, yep. Didn't you make a video about that? I don't who? know who made a video about it. Somebody I, made a video about it. Somebody made a video made about it. Miserable, so I didn't talk about it because I was like, well, we, we can talk about it here, but I feel, I, I don't even, it's too much to pack into a TikTok. It is. Like, oh, like, yeah, there's, yeah. I literally it's, started yelling. I, I was like, what the, how dare you say that? How dare you say that word and say, oh, we shouldn't be scared of it? Bitch, that's not your word. You don't yeah. get to say that you don't get to write it that isn't you are not a white savior her point was that actions and words actions and words no they no, already, bitch. no bitch poc oh, already took that word back she doesn't get to say that they took that word back that is their fucking word because that's what what did we do as white people we sat there and called them that we belittled them and called them disgusting rotten names so what they do they took it back let them take it back you're not gonna sit there and be a white savior and say that you're gonna take oh i don't think does anyone think that she's a white savior like does no, anyone think no, that no i think she's just i think her whole shtick is about how controversial she can be Absolutely. in a 60 second video. I think her whole shtick is how can I get as many people talking about what I'm doing as quickly as I can? Uh, I think that's her whole thing, her whole thing. She has done some just crazy stuff in the past. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Um, and so, you know, every time somebody, and I get sent videos about her all the time. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to give her the time of day because what she's yes. looking for is people to talk about her. Yeah. Absolutely. Push people her relevant. out onto your platform. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just, you know, there are enough people talking about her and what she's doing and what she says that any more exposure is just that. It's just exposure for her. I've never made a video about her and I never will make a video about her because she doesn't deserve anybody else's voice. Yeah, if that's her goal, then you're just playing right into her hands. Exactly. Yep. When I saw the video, I was I I didn't get mad. I I was just like, "What?" I was like, "No." I was like, "No." I was like, "No." I was like, "If any white person tries to no offense, but if any white person tries to use that, acronym 
and something's going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying I would do something to somebody. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, you got to be careful what you do. You, yeah. you can say the N word. I'm not telling people they can say it. Oh, that sounds weird. But I'm saying there's nothing stopping anybody from saying it. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, like we've all said, you have to deal with the consequences. Exactly. So I look at it like this. If you say the N word or try to use that, um, that acronym, you're signing to the, the, you're signing consent to the terms and services. Sure. Basically you're saying, okay, I'm saying this word. You know what? I'm agreeing that whatever comes with it, I can't complain about. So right. if you get canceled, you lose your job. If right. people hate you, if you get beat up, you can't do nothing about it. You just got to be like, well, yeah, I shouldn't have fucking said that word. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You hit the nail on the head there. Cause yeah, it, it's not about, cause she did mention banning, banning words and she mm -hmm. was against it. The, the word is not banned. Mm -hmm. You can say you whatever you want. Yeah. You, you can't want. ban a word. You can't I tell you people that all the time. Say. Like I, I, I've made videos about that where people yeah. are like complaining about not being able to say that word. And I will get on there onto my videos. And I'm like, look, you are a grown ass man. Say, say the word. Say it. Right. Do it. Tag me in it and I'll share it yeah. to yeah. all to my 140,000 followers. Yeah. Like, come on. Let's, to my 1, let's go. Let's do it. But, Say the word. Nobody's stopping you. Absolutely. Yeah. But as Jason said, it's about the consequences. Exactly. That's yeah. the thing. They want to be, and it's always white people that are yes. like, I, they want to say the word. They just don't want to have any of the consequences that come with saying the word. Well, see, that's the thing I don't understand about it is uh, there's words that I know I can't say. I don't want to say them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to say them. Yeah, if I somebody no tells desire. me not to say a word, like, like I, I've recently come to the understanding that, and I'm going to say it just for the purpose, female. Mm -hmm. uh, women don't like that. Okay, well, I'm prior military. I'm working it out of my... Vocabulary? Uh, yeah, vocabulary, <laughs> that is. When I do say it, it's muscle memory, and I'm like, oh, my, my bad, my bad. I, you know, I correct myself. A word like the N-word, there's nobody alive now. It's just putting up like a cases. reasonable, logical age. Exactly. Like that knows that it's not okay to say that. Yeah. Everybody yeah. Knows, knows that word is not okay. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't, if, if you didn't know it was okay, you wouldn't say I said the N word. You would say it. That all comes back to white people feeling that they are superior. Right. When somebody it. tells you you can't do something, yeah. you want to do it more. You want to do you it. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. that's yes, that's it's where, the entitlement. Yes. Right? I don't have that at all. I don't oh, either. I don't either. Yeah. Yeah. Where do people no. get that? See, here's the thing. There are billions of words that you can use. If somebody yeah. says, Hey, please don't use that word, I'm like, great, I'll use other words then yeah right like you can make up words Just exactly okay. yeah there was well okay. you get in trouble because you can easily go very offensive in using nicknames and other things oh for, sure okay, so, yeah okay but when yeah. somebody is like please stop a lot of, there's a lot of ways to to, to make well, your own slur and be extremely right. offensive. well like what what jason was saying you know i have very much the same experience with the word female Right? Yeah, that doesn't even bother me either. See, what? And, what? and I think it's no, it's less that. it's less about like the word female? female and more yeah, it's bad. In the way that you're using the word. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. So like, if I Am addressed I a woman, no, no. You're if I addressed okay. a woman and I said, "Well, you know, you're just a female" or something like that, then it oh no, I knock you the fucking context. <laughs> and that like, you know, all these me, females in this place, yeah. And you know, for me, it's <laughs> I'm in the same spot because in the military, that word gets used a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I. And so I, I've had to like start, but I've had people. I've had like one or two people that are like, you know, and not. Even it wasn't even me that said it. They were like, "Hey, you know, we'd appreciate it if you not use that word." I was like, "Oh, okay." I didn't even have to get told. Somebody else got told. I'm just gonna. Oh, start you went over. You worked out, out on my, that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna start filtering it out of my vocabulary, and I've been trying to be very cognizant of that. Yeah, so I don't understand yeah, this yeah, idea yeah. that I can't say something, so now I just want to say it more. You know, like well, that doesn't make sense to a, me. That's what a rational human being would do. Right. Oh, wait, exactly. you don't like that word? Okay, you know what? I won't say it. Right. How about that? Yeah. Because I care <laughs> about you, I'm not going to say it. 
Well, that's that's it. You care about somebody else more than you care about yourself. The, there was that the girl that said, don't call me sis. Oh, yeah. Point, very point. And I was like, I, I was like, wait a minute. I call a lot of people sis. I really who do. Said, but that's it, it's, that? I, it was just a creator. Yeah. Okay. But then, a, a person of color creator. And she okay. was like, white women calling black women sis. Sis. I can see where that would be. And I, she's well, like, she was like, don't do it. No, yeah, I've I've done it, but only with the people, yes, that I know. The people that are literally that I grew up with because my church was literally mm, 75% POC. And that's who I grew up with. I mean, I so when I see them, those are my sissies and I love them to pieces. But if somebody tells me don't call me sis, okay. I, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, but when it would come out when and it, it's white women that go, okay, sis, okay, sis, yeah. you don't own the word. That's not what she's saying. She's saying, don't call her sis, right? right. Her specifically. Her. Now, if you have a friend, just like okay, uh, somebody else was explaining it uh, too, and I, I was like, oh, well, that's a good way to explain it. Like, okay, so I have. My nieces and nephews call me Kiki. Well, if somebody started calling me Kiki, no, that's not for you to call me Kiki. That's my nickname, you know, for the my my church be weird. group. Yeah, and my nieces and nephews, they've called me Kiki. So don't call me Kiki. That's that's and then if that oh, okay, Kiki. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it all goes, but I think a lot of it stems back to this whole idea of uh, yeah, uh, all that too. That white, uh, white suppression, it, right? Like, white people oh. are being suppressed because oh, they they're can't victim- sit. They're the victims. Yeah. yeah. Oh. White oppression. That's, that's oppression. Gonna, yeah. Oppression. White people are being time. oppressed because they can't say this word. And I'm like, mm, you're trying really hard to make white oppression a thing. And it's it's just not. You are not thing. oppressed. So am I. Yeah. You know, it's. <laughs> I so, can't help but laugh seem at that to work. I have no power in this country. Right? Weird. <laughs> it's weird how oppression works. Yeah. Crazy, Oh, right? my God. And I Jason, I've missed you. <laughs> do we want to, do we have time to get into this whole cult thing? Or should I we want to. Another one? I'm here. That's I'm up, up to you. You're, you're driving hey, this bus. We're you're, just along for the ride. Paid.